All right, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, the most recent Nature Apps Explored by Monk Gardens. My name is Elise. I'm Monk Gardens' education coordinator, and uh, I'm gonna help you through our newest app today, get you a little introduction to it, and hopefully you can start using it at home or wherever you get out and about. So our app today is called Plant Snap. Plant Snap, one word. Uh, Plant Snap is available both for iPhones and Androids. Uh, there are free and paid versions. So the free version limits the amount of pictures or snaps that you can take in a day. The paid version, you can do as many as you'd like. Uh, we're gonna demo the free version today because it's the most accessible. Um, so Plant, Plant Snap helps you identify plants that you can take pictures of when they're right in front of you and it'll give you its best guess as to what that plant is and we're gonna see um, how well it does. So when we try it out, I'm going to try it on plants that I know what they are so I can try to let you know how accurate it seems to be. So. Um, I'll tell you right now that it seems like you might need to know a little bit about where you're at or the plant that you're looking at to be able to use this app really well. Uh, sometimes it can make some kind of funky guesses, uh, but we're gonna see how it does out here at the gardens, okay? Um, so we're going to do plant snap today. Hopefully it'll be useful to you. Okay, if you get started on plant snap, when you open the app, it's going to bring you to this page, takes you right to where you can start snapping pictures of plants. All right, so we're gonna show you what's going on on this front page of Plant Snap. So up in the top left corner, it shows you how many snaps you have available for the day. So I've already done a couple. So for me, it says I have 23 out of 25 left. On the top right, it'll always give you the option to go premium. Um, to pay for the app, you won't get any ads or anything. So, and you get unlimited snaps, so that's nice. So if you wanted to, if you really like the app, you could always go premium. It always has that option up there for you. The bottom left, it has a little button that says instructions. So it will, has a little video that will show you all of the basics of how to use the app. So if you're ever in it and you're kind of stuck and you want to go over how to use it again, that little instructions option is always there for you. In the middle, the big white button, that's your snap, your uh, photo button, so you can take your pictures. And then next to it is kind of like a little white square with like, it looks like there's mountains in it. Um, that's for if you want to choose a picture out of your gallery to see if it can identify the plant in a picture that you've already taken. And I'll show you how that works. And then it'll let you turn the flash on or off or auto in the bottom right, that little lightning bolt. And then down at the bottom, it's got a few other options. It's got um, feed, so it'll show you other plant snaps in the area. Um, there's ads on this page as well. And then explore, it'll wanna know if you want it to use your location and you can choose the option that you want. So I'm going to let it use my location while I'm using the app. And it'll let you explore the area around you see what snaps are being done in your area. So I'm at the gardens right now, so it's showing me next to the pond there at the gardens. And I can zoom around and see what other people are snapping um, in the area here. Search, I can search any plants uh, more. It'll show me um, my snaps and then my settings and things. Snap in the middle takes you right back to this home page here. So the first thing I think I'm going to show you is if you've already taken pictures of plants and you want to um, see if Plant Snap can identify them from the picture, you're gonna hit this little icon that's a picture. It'll take you to your recent pictures, your recent files. And so one that I'm going to pick, I took some pictures of plants yesterday. I'm going to do this one here. So this one is a plant from my backyard. I know this plant, so we're, I'm going to crop it. It gives you the opportunity to crop pictures. You can crop it to just the flowers. Plant Snap wants you to get just one plant per picture and then just flowers or leaves. So it likes you to be super specific. So I'm gonna try doing just the flowers here of just this one plant. We'll see what it comes up with. We'll hit done. 
and it says it's a Virginia spring beauty, which is what I would call it. So it got it right, it's a spring beauty, and if I like the answer it gave me, I can hit save at the top. Or if I think it's not that, it gives me other ideas at the, at, at the bottom, other options I could choose. But I like this one, I'm gonna hit save, and it's been saved to my collection. So I'm gonna hit okay there, and it gives me an ad after I've done that. Just hit the X in the corner, it'll go away. So if I wanted to see that snap, I hit the more at the bottom, and it shows me that I just did that there. So I did a couple others a while back. I did a rhubarb, trillium, blue cohosh. You can hit view all, see the rest. And I've tried a few others. So I had mentioned sometimes it's not super accurate. So one that I've done before, I tried to do a sprig of rosemary not too long ago. And so I know it's rosemary. So this is a little sprig of rosemary. Um, and it thinks it is Podocarpus nakei. Uh, I'm not sure what that plant is, so I look at the description, and it says it's endemic to Taiwan. So obviously Plant Snap did not get that one right. So it helps if you're looking at a plant, it has a guess for you and you're not super sure, maybe go look at the description that it gives you for that plant. And if it says that it only grows in Taiwan and it's growing in your backyard, uh, maybe it's not quite right that time and you should give it another try, try another snap, or um, see what other suggestions it has for you, okay? So we're gonna go back to snap, and I think we're going to uh, go for a little walk and try to find some plants to take snaps of and see what it thinks. All right, so I have found a plant here that we are going to try to take a snap of. And remember that plant snap likes uh, big pictures of just leaves or just flowers. That's when it's most accurate. So I'm going to try to get a picture of just this leaf here. There we go. Now let's see what Plant Snap thinks. So I'm going to get just the leaf in the crop here. Crop it to just the leaf. Hit done. And we'll see what it thinks. Ooh, it says it's wild ginger, but it says it's Canadian wild ginger. And I think, I think we'll go with that. So it is wild ginger, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And so we saved that snap. All right, let's go see if we can find another one. Give it a try. Here's kind of a fun plant. It's a unique looking plant, kind of tall, funky looking. We're gonna try this one out, see what plant snap thinks. So remember, clear picture of like just the leaves. Here we go. See if I can. There we go. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so it gets the whole leaf. Hit done. See what it thinks. Hmm. So, so this is kind of a funny thing. It seems to happen to me when I'm using the app sometimes. So I will take a snap of a picture or a plant, and then instead of showing me the options. For some reason, it shows me the uh, status of it instead. And, uh, oh, there we go. Let's see if, all right. If you click the picture in the upper right, it shows you the picture you took. And then if I hit back, it just takes me to this page. And if I hit learn more, it's going to take me to a website because um, I've tried that before. I'm not really sure what's happening when I end up on this page. So I'm gonna hit the little X and go back and then it's going to show me another ad. All right, so I'm going to try taking a picture of the Mayflower or the May apple again. I know this plant's a May apple. Let's see what Plant Snap thinks. There's the May apple. I'm gonna hit done. Same thing. See, I'm not quite sure what's happening. If I hit learn more, it takes me to a website that I don't really need to go to. So, I think we're just gonna give up on the May apple. We'll try to find another plant. Okay, so I've got a couple plants here I'm going to try. The first one is this little guy. 
So let's see plant snap face of him. So I took my snap. I'm going to crop it to just get one-ish leaf. Hit done in the corner. Mm, all right, so it gives me the options of false lily of the valley and then a couple other lily of the valley. And then, so I would actually call this a Canada Mayflower. So we're going to, and this one, one of the other suggestions says Canada May Lily. So I'm going to look at that one. Yeah, so that is actually the one I'm looking for. Canada May Lily or Canada Mayflower. So this is the one I'm going to save. So I'm going to go back and then next to the one that I think is actually the answer, I'm going to hit save there. So sometimes it helps uh, to compare the picture that you took to the suggestions that it gives you. And from here it gives me another about 15 second ad that I have to watch before I can keep going. But we're gonna do one more plant to test out plants now, okay? So this is actually right next to our Canada Mayflower, right here. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this whole plant. So it's got flower or little flower buds and some leaves here. Took our snap gonna crop it a little bit so we only have one in there hit done Let's see what it thinks mmm American pokeweed not quite lemon verbena it's not lemon verbena um, gives me six other options all of which are not correct so we're gonna click more options here and uh, I'm going to click send image to be identified. So that'll give, that'll send it off to someone to say, ah, I'm not quite sure what this is and we didn't get the right answer. So that last one we looked at right here, it's actually a star flower. It'll have a little white star shaped flower uh, when those buds bloom. And it's a native wildflower to Wisconsin here. So we'll go back to our app here. And if we go to uh, snap, so we, sorry, bug. So if we go back to snap, uh, we sent that one off for identification. It takes us back here though. So we could still go to more options. It gives you other uh, options here. I could suggest name and type in star flower. So it gives me this guy here. It gave me Starflower as an option. I clicked that and it saved it as Starflower in my little snap library. All right, so I both sent it off for identification and saved it as Starflower. So remember, if you wanna check out your old snaps, you go to more down in the bottom right. You can see all the snaps we just did, as well as any snap you ever did. So it'll save them for you. And also let's check out this uh, explore option just real quick. It'll ask you, it might ask you about your location again. So if we look at the map here, it shows you uh, where you are and then it shows you other snaps around you. So mine's showing me the snaps that I just did. They're those little green bubbles. And then if we zoom out, it'll show you if other people are using plant snap in the area and if they're snapping stuff. So mine right now just shows me. Okay, so that was a quick how-to with plant snap. So plant snap is a pretty simple app, snap pictures of plants. It gives you its best guess as to what that plant is. Um, like I said at the beginning, sometimes it can be wrong uh, and that's just bound to happen. Uh, it's doing its best. It's pulling from data. It's collected from other pictures and other identifications and sometimes it's just wrong and that's when it helps to have a bit of an idea of what you're looking at or looking at the description of the plants, um, seeing if it matches where you're at 
that kind of thing. And it also helps you by just having a list of other plants to choose from. So you can compare all of them, see which one you think is uh, the most accurate. So it's not like it only gives you one option. So Plant Snap can be really useful and pretty fun. If you're using Plant Snap, keep in mind that it's not made for kids. So uh, if you read the terms, it is specifically for anyone 18 years or older. That doesn't mean that you couldn't use it with your kids. It could be fun to use with your kids. Um, they just are not supposed to have their own accounts. You do have to create an account to use it with a username and a password. So keep that in mind. Okay to use as a family with an adult, but if you're under 18, it's not supposed to be used individually. Okay? So um, hopefully Plant Snap can be added to your arsenal of nature apps to try out and try in your yard or wherever you end up outside. Uh, you can even try Plant Snap on your houseplants if you've got houseplants too. So uh, you can really try it on any plant and it'll do its best because it's got plants from around the world in its database. So anything you've got in your house might be in there too. So give Plant Snap a try. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun, and if you really like it, you could upgrade from that basic to the premium paid one, and you could be able to take plant snaps all day long. Otherwise, the 25 snaps that it gives you for free a day is usually enough. Um, it does make you watch those ads every once in a while, but it's between snaps, which usually doesn't make too much of a difference because you might be moving on to the next plant anyway. Uh, it's not too much of an interference. So every once in a while we've used it here at the gardens. If we find a funny plant that we see and we're not quite sure what it is, we can use plant snap. And sometimes it helps us whittle it down to what kind of plant it is. Uh, which can be really helpful instead of pulling out a book or maybe we just don't have a book uh, on us at the moment. Sometimes an app can be a little bit more uh, accessible in a crunch. So hopefully this was a good introduction to Plant Snap for you and um, I hope you have a good time with it. Thanks for watching Nature Apps Explored. <laughs>